Due to construction, the information highway will be closed until further notice. Hello everyone and welcome to our next tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your autoresponders using GetResponse.com. The first thing you want to do is you want to open your unique niche marketing package folder and go into your autoresponder folder. And we're going to be using both the doc file and the text file. So let's first open the Word version. Let's use number 6. And once it opens we're just going to minimize it to have it on hand for later. And we are also going to need the text version of number 6. And we're going to minimize that. Okay, now we're ready to go to Get Response. And I'm already logged in, but you would want to log in. And the first thing you're going to do is go to your dashboard and go to Create Messages. And then to Create Follow Up. And you want to choose one of the HTML formats. This way you can enable your links and that's what we want to happen. That way whenever someone clicks on your link it will actually take them to your affiliate offers. Let's pick out a template that we like. This one's fine. Okay and up top here we have some information. Send, this means what day do you want this autoresponder to send out. So if you wanted it to send out on day one you're going to put day one. Day six is fine. The from is who you want it to be from. This should automatically come up to your email address that you registered the account with. Your subject line, which is usually right here on your autoresponders. So you just want to cut that and paste that in. And then you get down to the body of your message. First thing you want to do is get all this out of here. by just clicking and deleting. And then you want to go to your Word document, highlight your entire message, copy it, and I'm just right clicking and hitting copy, and then right click and hit paste. Okay, it doesn't want to, so I'm going to try control V. And then read over it and make sure it sounds okay. And of course, where it says signature, you're going to want to put your signature. And where it says affiliate link, you're going to want to delete that out and put in your actual link with your keywords. So I'm going to use the keywords my website. You would highlight it. Go to this add link option right here. You'll notice if you hover over it, it says insert edit link and you're going to tell it where you want it to go. And you say insert and now you see that that is a link and of course you would want to do it on the other one as well. Once you have that done you want to go to the plain text version and that's what you want to do with your text version of the file. So cut that or copy paste it in here and you see you're running over the line there so if you click wrap long lines it'll fix that for you there will be a few editing issues since you're dealing with HTML so you just want to come in here and add some hard returns to get your formatting looking a little better and the same thing that you did before you want to fix the signature and other things and looks good. If you wanted to test it, you'd scroll down to the bottom and send test message. S put who you want to send it to and click test and you should receive that email. Of course I sent it to Jason so he'll receive that email. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And that's pretty much it. Once you're happy with everything, you can either save it as a template for future if you have, you know, 10 to load, or I'm just going to save message. And it will bring you to this screen. And obviously I have some other ones set up in here, but this is an overview of everything we have set up and ready to go. And everything looks fine. And that's pretty much it. If you use AWeber instead of GetResponse, it's pretty much the exact same 
things will be in a few different places but it's pretty much the exact same method so hope you guys found this useful and we'll see you in the next tutorial